It's all because of Jesus, he the reason I'm alive I live by faith, by grace, you know that I ain't gotta strive They told me, told me Yo, 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 what up? I'm the red car from Cars. He's the blue Porsche. (laughs) And this is the boat parade. He's definitely Toe Mater. No cap. I Uh, have the, what do they say? The little, the, the, she had a bumper sticker, but they called it a tattoo. The the, the tramp stamp. The tramp stamp on the Porsche. Shout out me. Let's go. Oh, I have a friend. Let's talk some Rays baseball. All right, we're going to talk. I was talking about, I have a friend. I was not talking about I have a friend who has a trans step. I have a friend who has that Porsche. But anyway, let's talk about Rays baseball. You know, I'm happy right now. They're 23 and 15 on the season. Yeah. You know, they just won today, 6 1 over the Tigers. Hand clap. They're second overall in the AL East behind the Yankees. Mind- the <laughs> Yankees, they're 27 and 9. It's the new stadium. You're saying what everybody else is saying, and that home runs in Yankee Stadium are only home runs in Yankee Stadium and wouldn't be in any other of the 29 other ballparks? Fact. Ooh. I agree with that. That's awesome. But they've won two out of three games in their last two series. They won three out of four against the Mariners. They swept the A's. The bats are hot right now. The Rays are doing good. Yeah. Um, you Brett know, Phillips. Which is impressive. Yeah, Brett Phillips. I'll get to that in a second. Their their bats are hot. You know, Jeez. even KK, who was hitting like a hundred at the beginning of the <laughs> seasons, like, hitting like a one eighty, which is he's like the, he was hitting eighty. <laughs> one eighty is like the Mendoza line, which if you hit that, you like stink. Yeah. Which Kevin Kiermaier does at hitting. We love you, KK. Before, but before, he's now better now, and he's still. You know, he hits he's a home fixed. run, or he needs to learn how to go oppo like he did yesterday, because they do the shift on him, and then he hits into the shift, and that's why. He, hey. Next year's gonna Next be year. nasty. Next year, it's gonna be good. So, <clears throat> keep playing good defense. Keep having you know the bullpen pitching. Um, that's what the Rays do. And then if if they can keep hitting, they'll keep winning. So, yeah, shout out Rays. It's been amazing. We were actually um, one second. Oh yeah, before before we talk about that, we need to talk about what happened with BP Brett Phillips, the human airplane, the human. If you know, you know. He <laughs> hit a moonshot in the trop that. Hit an airplane, almost. It hit the roof of the trop. On during the game, they <laughs> said. <wife> <laughs> I said hit an airplane. My wife said. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh god! Um, it hit the roof of the trop. In the in the game commentary, they were like, "It hit the C ring," but didn't. it didn't. On John Boy, you could see, and they zoomed Literally. in. Literally hit the roof of the trop. The, now, what would that be? I don't know. I don't know if they've pulled the stat cast That'd for it. It have to be like, five. Really? Have to be five. Oh my God! It had it, the Brett way that, Phillips. He looked like I did in eighth grade. He looks like you now. The dude. <laughs> I'll take this as a compliment. That means I can hit five hundred feet. I was saying he looked the same way now that you did in eighth grade, but you can hit at five hundred feet too. Bro, it's too late for that type of comment. Anyways, I wanted to ask you to tell the people because you had never been to a Rays game up to this season, and I want your. First reaction thoughts. <laughs> what were your first two okay. Rays games like? And you can't compare the seats that we were at because we went outfield then like right behind the dugout home play area. So just talk about the experience of Tropicana Field, Tropicana Stadium, and then what it was like to be at a Rays game. So the first experience was obviously parking. And I did notice we parked around the back of the stadium. Jared's got all the hot spots. He's a big Tampa guy anyway. We parked behind the stadium, walked through some dirt, walked up to the stadium, <laughs> walked inside, the al- almost no security. And my first thought was uh, when I walked out and we saw the stadium, my, my first thought was we are seeing a baseball game in a big trash can. You know, I thought uh, those are always my thoughts right when I walk into the stadium because you come down these prison-like corridors. It, it's It's – but then, yeah, you go further into the stadium where it should be even better, and then it's not. No, because you go inside, and you're looking up, and you're like, I, I felt like I was in, like, Space Mountain. Like, they should have had the lights off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was like, this is way too ugly to be what this is actually like. Like, you, y'all didn't put any effort into nothing. You built it and said, you know what? Let's throw a raised tank. You know what? You can right play there. baseball in here. And this is crazy. This is phenomenal. Really entice the San Francisco Giants or the White Sox. You know, just, hey, we'll Depending bring them down here. Depending on who you ask. Depending on who you ask. Look, 
but the point was, as we're walking, the first game that I went to, we sat way out in the outfield. Still great seats. But as we're walking, a ball flies. Like a line drive, home run type ball. Foul ball. It was foul. We were walking along the third base side. It flies, bow, and like literally flies right past me. And my 79-year-old grandfather is like running backwards trying to get to the ball. It's like bouncing all over the place, flies past his kneecaps. And I'm thinking, wow, this is really going to be an exciting game. It wasn't. I think we lost 8-1. 8-1 that game against <laughs> and, the Twins. And I don't like sitting way back there because I can't see a whole lot, but there wasn't much to see. Uh, in that game for us, other than the other team. And to hit. put that in perspective, we were second row outfield seats, and from there it's boring. Yeah, I don't like that they have the top section closed off because I think those are fun seats for to watch baseball. Sitting anywhere behind the lines instead of away from the lines, I think it changes the way you see baseball. I'm going to talk this way because all of the fans <laughs> want to be able to sit in those top seats. Yeah, guys, what the Stu heck? But Stu Sternberg stinks 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 we're gonna make a shirt that i says mean that. look Stu. here's the deal bro sell the tickets for as much money as you want that's what he does currently he it, needs to open up the top and just let people come no but i'm saying even if you sell the top tickets for the same price as i'll still i want to sit up top i want to sit up top because i want to experience what it's like to sit in a potentially packed game at race stadium what would it be like if we could only afford to sit way up in the nosebleeds i'll pretend that anyone wants to go to your stadium to play freaking baseball games because it literally is like a tin trash can that the rays have to play in because you want to save twelve dollars and fifteen cents so you, you look i want to ask whatever. you this what was the drive like from here in tampa okay guys look that's how i feel i mean i'm i'm actually i'm not even kidding you because I've become so emotionally invested in Tampa, I could actually cry right now. Because why is that, l bro? Dang. Because as somebody that grew up playing baseball, going to baseball games, and then we took my daughter to her first baseball game ever it was her first sporting event ever, and to have to sit and drive my six month old in traffic for an hour yeah how long was the drive and, it, and don't exaggerate like try to be realistic and and how long it took us to get from it right next to hard rock casino to the trot 50 minutes 50 minutes and then obviously we live in brandon so then you add 15 minutes for that i mean it was like an hour and 15 minutes to get parked and then start walking in the stadium and guys to work a full day at work out in the sun and then come home and get the baby ready and then drive over an hour to go see a freaking baseball game and then to have to drive over an hour back to then try and get my daughter to sleep late and it, go to work the it, next day. it ruins baseball it ruins baseball and as much as Jared bought us seats and we took a friend of our son and he had so much fun it was so much fun my daughter had such a good time even in the trash can stadium and we had a lot of fun and it was a great game but on the drive home, I realized I'm not going to do this very often. And it's not fair to baseball fans to have to go through that. That's why there's the third lowest attendance in the MLB at the Trop. That's why a lot of people from St. Pete go and Tampa doesn't go. That's why a lot of big money people don't go to baseball games because they don't want to drive an hour because they want to be a part of the city. They don't want to be driving to another city. And so I, I think it was radically disappointing for me to discover why you see so much passion in moving the stadium or moving them to a different city and to be honest with you for me I this is going to sound crazy but I almost there's a part of me that if the stadium's not going to move wants them to leave because maybe they'll be appreciated somewhere else that's a hot take and and maybe going to another city means that people actually get to participate in baseball as a whole and I'd almost rather see them prosper somewhere else than to stay stuck in this hellhole in St. Petersburg where people can't even be a part of baseball. You won't even sell the seats at the top. You just ruin the experience for kids, and you're killing the sport in Florida. And that's all they're trying to do. They're trying to tailor it specifically to families and kids, but it's not. No, it's not. It's, um, it's You know, it's like you just said, and I've said this before, and I'll say it always. Growing up, we would go to – 
we would try to go to one or two games a year. And we were coming from Winter Haven in Polk County, so even further. Yeah. And it's bro. that it's the extra drive, like even if, even from that point across the bridge. Yeah. That adds that time to it that stinks. Yeah. And people in Pinellas County is old retirees, people that like other teams are people that don't want to go. People want you in Tampa. That's why they're passionate about them being in Tampa. That's right. I don't I don't necessarily agree with they should go somewhere else if they're not going to come to Tampa. I would rather them be in the Tampa Bay area because if they leave, I'm not going to be a fan. I'm just not. No, I, I, I know that, but I almost feel like that comment was made in reference to baseball as a whole, not selfishly as a fan, but baseball as a whole. I, I don't see the MLB being able to, to – in any way redeem the Rays in, in the situation that they're in unless they move or come to Tampa. I think that they're they're a dead franchise. They went to the World Series two years ago, and we go to a game and there's like 8,000 people there. And then you go to Instagram and you see teams that freaking suck and they have 30,000 people at their baseball games. Like like the Phillies. The, Phil- the Phillies are packing out baseball games in the regular season and the Rays have whole sections closed and like – you know, and the, who's bad? I would say the Orioles, but nobody goes there. Well, the A's are bad, but the A's are his, like they do pretty good, but they no, have the, nobody they have wants nobody to go to that stadium, to either. That stadium either. And it's, I think our stadium's worse, but it's, it's just. I want to close with this <laughs> because there's a misnomer around baseball that you have small market teams and big market teams, and people would say that the Rays. They're a small market, low budget team, but that's completely inaccurate. Yeah. That's all set by the standards of Stu Sternberg, the owner of the team, being what he is. He works on Wall Street. He's a Jewish guy. It is what it is, and he's tight with his money because they have so much money coming in from TV deals yeah. and marketing revenue and revenue from and from KK other smile, things. you know, and that. <laughs> But then you pocket that and then spend only a little bit on the team, and then now you're a small market team. Well, and it's not even that we have a bad team or bad players. They're I mean, great. We, They're we second have, in the we, A, at least right, currently. Right. We have a great team. So it's like they deserve better. Tampa Bay deserves better. My daughter deserves better. Wow. Out of the Tampa Bay Rays than what they're what they're providing. And I, I'll be honest, There's a. Re- let me put it to you this way. Tampa Bay is such a great city that hockey. Tampa Bay is not a city. Tampa Bay is such a great area. Good call. And Tampa is such a great city Amen. that hockey, which is not a Southern American thing, and everybody's talking about hockey, that our hockey team has the highest average attendance in the entire NHL, they higher do. than the Canadians, higher than teams that have been dominating in the NHL for decades, for won all the Stanley Cups, whatever, and we have the highest attendance in hockey, but nobody wants to go to baseball games. But it's so, because of one location. That's and the stadium's and trash. The experience the stadium, is trash. There's the no atmosphere. Even the media team's trash. They play the dumbest songs. You look up on the board and the highlights like twelve minutes late, and then they play. They don't even play the freaking highlight. The guy hits a home run off the dome, and they don't even bother to replay it to see whether it, it's like, bro, you got a ninety-year-olds commentating when you're at the stadium. It makes you want to fall asleep. The, I the, will say this: that the lightning should hire the or sorry the rays should hire the lightning as some consultants yeah. instead of the consultants that they're wasting their money on or whatever and the media team and the marketing team take some notes from the lightning make it fun and well, move the stadium and in the meantime you could drop a massive cowboys at&t stadium screen in the middle of the trop you can't do that the, the ball goes there well then you have, have to a build screen. a new stadium it's bro the problem is is that you have a big screen and then three quarters of the screen is tiny words that you can't see <laughs> it's like now batting with a 1.005 that's not how those numbers work no but i was thinking of kk golly colgate commercials here's the point <laughs> ray Bor city move the rays somewhere please to tampa but save baseball save the race there you go you know you can look me in the eye It's all because of Jesus He the reason I'm alive I live by faith, by grace You know that I ain't gotta strive They told me, told me